Right, NPM, PowerShell, PS1, scripts disabled. Okay, so I'll explain my situation. I've got the latest version of Vite, or 7, at the time of making this video, but it needs a newer version of Node.js, so I had to upgrade it, and I used the Node.js official MSI installer. So this is the Node.js download page. I've got 22.17 long-term support. I use the installer anyway. So I'm in VS Code. I'm going to open up a terminal. It is PowerShell. So I can double check that it is the version that I installed. So node hyphen V and brilliant. Okay, so I got version 2217. That's what I need for Vite version 7, right? But next thing you want to do is you want to install your project or even run it. So I'm using NPM. So I'll just see what version of NPM I've got now. So NPM hyphen V and I get this error. NPM PS1 cannot be loaded because scripts is disabled on this system. Right. Okay. That's very strange, but we can fix it. And I'll just show you a few other things that will cause this problem. Maybe you're just not typing NPM hyphen V. You're typing NPM run dev. You get the same answer or npm start oh npm doesn't work anymore right and that's since upgrading to vite version 7 and node 22.17 long term support and i'm using powershell now you don't have to use powershell you could use command so let's open up a new terminal just click this down arrow choose a command prompt and if i was to run npm hyphen v now it would work same thing npm is still would work but if you're like me you like the colors that you get in PowerShell, so you use PowerShell. You don't have to use PowerShell, but I use PowerShell. If I want to get NPM to work in PowerShell again, I have to set the execution policy. Now, you can see what your execution policy is now. You can type get hyphen execution policy and it says restricted that's why i can't run npm ps1 so we can set the execution policy i'm just going to press up arrow then move the cursor there press set execution policy space unrestricted like that and i'm going to set the scope so i'm just going to hide myself so you can see it hyphen scope current user enter okay now to get execution policy again so i'm just pressing up arrow a few times it says unrestricted let's see what happens if i run npm hyphen v now excellent it works it means i can run npm install and continue on with my project npm run dev and i open it up and, and that's the project it's a 3js boilerplate that i wrote anyway and if you are interested in 3js you'll find several 3js courses on my sbcode.net website rack 3 fiber 3js and typescript and the 3js shading language anyway excellent thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share